Hello listeners, this is a short, quick, and dirty session on significant figures. Significant figures are used in science because you're only as good as the equipment you measure by. So there's five basic types of numbers that we're going to look at before we start any of the rules on significant figures. The first one is just a basic type of number like 1.23. Though there are three non-zero numbers. So there are three significant figures in 1.23. The second type of number we're going to look at is something called a sandwich zero. If you have a number like 507, the first type told us that the non-zero numbers are significant. But in this case you have a zero in between two uh, non-zero numbers. That makes it also three significant figures. The third type that we have are <clears throat> trailing zeros. To give you an example of that, we'll write 4.000. So the first non-zero number, of course, would be the four. I like to put a check on that one. Then the trailing zero into the right of a decimal. That is also significant. Now you have two sandwich zeros in between for a total of four significant figures. The fourth type is something called a placeholder zero. So if you have a point zero zero two three, the two and the three are significant non-zero numbers, but the two zeros are just placeholders. So you only have two significant figures in that number. The fifth type would be in front of the decimal. For example, 4,050. You would have a non-zero, a non-zero, a sandwich zero, but the last one is just a placeholder. So you would only have three significant figures. Okay? Let's give you a couple to try on your own, and we'll quickly go to the answer. So try to give the significant figures for the following. We'll give you three, and just tell me how many significant figures you have. Okay, we'll give you a second. This one should have four significant figures. This one should have three. And the last one should have five. I'll quickly go through the explanation. You should have a non-zero, a non-zero, a sandwich, and a trailing zero. So that would be four. The next one you have two non-zero numbers and a trailing. That first zero is a uh, placeholder, so it would not be significant. The last one you have four non-zeros and one sandwich. Again, the last zero is just a placeholder. That is the number five on that last one. Well, now that we've done so well with those, let's go ahead and go to adding and subtracting sig figs. Uh, that's the name I give significant figures. So let's go ahead and try a couple of easy examples with adding and subtracting. Pretend we have a number such as 2.334 and a number such as 1.14. When we add those together, you would have 4, 7, 4, and 3. But I tell my students that you have to go to the leftmost number. Most people get a little confused with that, so we pretend we play Mario Kart. Uh, 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 crash. And then we draw the wall. That wall tells us where to round for significant figures. Does this 4 make the 7 go up or stay the same? 
five or more, raise the score. Four or less, let it rest. So we're going to let that rest for our answer of 3.47 is the correct number of sig figs for that addition problem. Let's try another one. So the ne next one will be 1.811, 2.22, and then 1.7. So if you add those up, let's start this time by drawing the wall. So we come in with our Mario Kart car, crash, right into an imaginary wall right there. Now we can just do our simple arithmetic. Okay, 5.731, but the wall tells us to look to round the 3. Does it make the 7 go up? Of course not. So the answer is 5.7. That also works for subtracting the exact same way. So now let's look at multiplying and dividing. So this gets into several questions. The first one that I love to uh, ask students about is 12 times 12. So the rule is for this is use the least number of sig figs in the question. Well, there's two sig figs here and two sig figs here. So even though the answer on the calculator is 144, how do you make that two sig figs? And that would be rounded to 140. Because the second digit is the 4, and of course that last 4 does not make it round up to 150. So the answer is 140. Uh, let's use a few more examples here for multiplication uh, real quick. We'll use 88.00 divided by 2.0. Okay, the least number of sig figs there would be the 2.0. There's two sig figs here. There's a trailing zero. The top has four sig figs. We don't need it. We need the least number. So when we do our math here, it's simply 44. Do we need to add a point zero? No, because we have two significant figures here and two significant figures here. So that would be the final answer. Let me let you try one more here. So if we try something such as 6.78 times 3.1. So you grab your handy dandy calculator and when you type it in, you get a big number of 21.018. But as I tell my students, the calculator does not know sig figs. So how many sig figs do you need to make this? Well, the first one has three, and the second number only has two. The rule is go with the least, so that would make it, instead of going up to the 21.018, you would just drop the .18, and your final answer would just be 21. Okay, let me give you a couple of problems for multiplying and, and uh, dividing. And I'm sorry, multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting. So try the following problems and we'll see how you do. Okay, these, there's four problems here. You can feel free to pause it. But I'm going to go ahead and start to work all four of them. Please pause now if you'd like a few more minutes to work these. But I'm going to go ahead. The first thing you do on number one is that you line up your decimal. So the 33 would go right on top of the one. When you add that together, you would get the wall here. So the final answer for number one is just 34. Okay, number two. I'll do this kind of backwards. So number two, you're going to have 48.11 uh, subtracted 
subtract uh, 2.8 from 48.11. Uh, do your math over here, but go ahead and draw your wall. So you're going to get 3, hopefully my math is right, 45.3 is your final answer that you would not even look at the 1. 45.3 is your final answer there. Number 3 is a lot easier. All we got to do is say 2 times 6 is obviously 12. But how do you make 12 have 3 sig figs? You got to add a 0 to it. And the last one, number 4, 2 divided by 100 is obviously 50. Problem is 50 is just 1 sig fig. So we're going to turn that into 5.0 times 10 to the first to make that 50 with two sig figs. I do hope this little short lesson on significant figures has helped. And again, uh, feel free to email me. Thank you.